Welcome to the shop. Today we just have a, a few things uh, and a lot of wiring and solving for where cameras are going to go. Uh, and I got a few new things in the mail um, and there's some more stuff showing up tomorrow and for the rest of this month to kind of complete this video build. So let me cut to uh, the new stuff and then uh, uh, on to something else I suppose. I want to try to figure out maybe where to mount the uh, the toolbox that's back over there like where to put it I, I really just kind of juggling space right now not a lot of space left so how do I use it the best and that's where this other toolbox will come in uh, and especially now that I've solved for a video and sound levels the the next goal for me is just to solve for utilizing the space uh, so uh, let me switch up to the new stuff I bought everything in 12 millimeter except for this, which is a 10 millimeter, I think. Yeah, 10 millimeter. Um, and this is four float, four flute. We've seen those. This is also a, a four flute uh, end mill, 60 degrees or whatever. But this is the kind of the a big deal here. I was really happy to find it. Uh, the two flute uh, insert, and all of these are high speed steel. These ones are, are carbide tipped, but still a high speed steel bit. So they all follow the same rules as far as travel speed and cut depth go. Um, this is my mist cooling system uh, that I ordered from China and have been slowly cobbling together. The biggest problem I have uh, is right here is this little dinky magnet just doesn't have enough uh, force to hold it in place so uh, I've gone ahead and snapped up a larger magnet for the price was right so larger magnet um, and for size comparison it suddenly occurs to me that none of that was being recorded so I guess we'll start in reverse. First off is the misting system and this magnet just wasn't strong enough. I had to order another one. Um, let's see if I can get this loose now. This is really a strong magnet. but So went ahead and replaced it with a much larger magnet um, which I'll be careful to put down somewhere that isn't quite as burly. Uh, same thing uh, four flute 12 millimeter end mills um, which is not the highlight like those are 60 degree four flute high speed steel end mills uh, but what I was able to find and I was best pleased and quite surprised about it was uh, a two flute carbide tipped 12 millimeter uh, which doesn't seem like a big deal to somebody who's not into machining but for me who doesn't know what the I'm doing uh, it's a really big deal for me to find the two flute if nothing else just for uh, experience sake so 10 millimeter 312 millimeters two flute everything else is four flute uh, and then I'm gonna mess around with with uh, mounting this magnet onto uh, this doohickey my mist system so that's today's projects so now that I'm partially set up on the mill um, it's a keyless chuck, which is a big deal. And I'm gonna take the uh, the one I was using for the plastic, what is this, five or 10 mil or whatever. And that's gotta come out of here and make room for a larger chuck, which I'm going the wrong direction for. So, seemed. And we'll see if we can get any got to be careful with this to a certain whoa to a certain extent apparently I got to be careful with everything but whatever we'll just is that in shot I can't even see the computer so if this is in shot awesome if not bummer um,
see, is that enough? Uh, yep, that's enough. So, switch cameras up. And then, then. I gotta mount this one down solid somewhere. Eh. Oh well. I'll just have to edit this out at some point and pretend I care. So, what just happened was this hole needed to be made bigger. You can see on the side where it, where it carved through. In order to accommodate the larger shank, which slides up in here. And let's see if I can find the, which I can't, because if I could, that would be weird. Um, Okay, back from the peanut gallery. This thing's machined and has a much more powerful magnet in it. So I'm going to go put it back where it goes. And I think, well, whatever. Well, thanks for coming along for the ride. Uh, as it turns out, this is all I had for today outside of maybe putting up a toolbox or something. So uh, until next time, I'll look forward to seeing you. Please take a moment and like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. Uh, and I'll look forward to making another video.